Alright guys, so breakfast they say is the most important meal of the day. Is that really true? Or what do you guys think about it? <laughs> okay, so anyways, have you guys wondered why um, I mean you watch a recipe or you watch a DIY on social media, specifically on YouTube or something and then you try it out and you don't really get I mean the same results as they did. And that is probably because most content creators don't really show you the exact truth. They only show you what they want you to see, not really what happened, okay? So I tried making Nutella and truth be told, I broke my blender, okay? So yeah, I just want you guys to know some of the reality, you know, like we go through trying to create content for you guys. So I'm going to show you the video of basically the whole process when I was making the Nutella, everything, and then I'm going to explain to you what happened, mistakes I did, but I have it here. I still made it anyways, okay? So I have it here, and yeah, it's really good, guys. So let's get right into the video, okay? Let's go. I give you guys the first commandment. Thou shalt not buy chocolate spread again. Never, ever, ever. All right, guys, and so I say, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys, and today we're gonna be making the nicest and easiest chocolate spread, AKA Nutella, you have ever eaten, okay, guys? It's gonna be homemade, and you know, everything that is homemade is better, okay? Trust me on this one, guys. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so to begin, we're gonna make our icing sugar. Okay, so we're just gonna pour in about one cup of sugar into our blender. This is regular sugar, guys. So we're not gonna go ahead and just blend our sugar. So as you can see, guys, there we have our beautiful icing sugar or our powdered sugar. All right, so now next off, we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of cocoa powder into our icing sugar. And then we're also gonna blend everything together. So we now have our icing sugar and cocoa powder mixture now complete. All we're gonna do now is just transfer it into a bowl and we move on with the next step, guys. All right, so when we are done blending our sugar and our cocoa powder, we're not gonna move on to our peanut, okay? So we're gonna put our peanut into the blender. And we're gonna start blending our peanut, guys. So it was at this point that I realized that something was wrong because you could hear the blades of the blender moving, but you couldn't see the stuff in the blender actually moving. Did you get me? So I then went on to add the oil, okay, to make my life easier, okay, I want to overwork my blender, not knowing, I had already overworked it, so when I added the oil, it made blending easy, but I had already overworked the blender, so at a point in time, the sound I was getting from the blender changed, so the blender now became overheated, and then I transferred it into a different blender to go ahead and blend, okay. All right guys, so the big blender I was using was beginning to overheat, so I changed it and I'm using this small one, okay? I hope this one works out. All right guys, so after adding the peanut butter to the smaller blender and I was blending it, you could see that it was, it was, it was going, but it wasn't moving, <laughs> you know? I was blending it, but there was nothing like showing that it was actually blending, okay? So I just um, poured the peanut butter out and then I added the rest of the ingredients and I mixed it by hand, okay? So this right here wasn't mixed entirely by the blender, I mixed it by hand. So I poured out the peanut butter into a bowl. I then added the cocoa powder and icing sugar mixture and then I added um, the vanilla essence, a pinch of salt, and some milk powder guys and I just mixed everything together so I kept on adding oil and water you know until I had the perfect consistency okay and then after I was done I poured it into this container and yeah basically I'm eating it guys you can see <laughs> it used to be somewhere around here or something when I look at where it is so yeah it is what it is guys <laughs> yeah so um, 
I, I just wanted to show you guys that you know not everything we do really turns out great sometimes we have to um to try something out first and then we make a video about it okay by this time i was positively sure it was going to work out because it's really simple guys so i was pretty much sure that it was going to work out but it turned out that um <clears throat> and blender um just wasn't able to contain it all right guys so what really happened to the blender or how did the blender get spoiled or anything if you look at the bottom side of the blender okay you can see that this part has worn off is that, is that correct yes this part has worn off you know so when you put it onto the other side of the blender like this this side is supposed to have contact with the main you know blending thing do you get me but when you put it on because this part has worn off you know by the excessive blending you know um when you put it on it like it doesn't really get that contact so when you turn it on it, there is no spinning going on do you get me so yeah that was how um i spoke to this blender and i know my dad is gonna kill me but <laughs> ain't nobody tell him guys yeah i'm not gonna tell him i did it don't you tell him i did it okay so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something ah uh, if you want to try it i mean go ahead and try it i'm not going to tell you not to try it if you want to try go ahead and try it if your blender gets spoiled uh, <laughs> just buy a new one okay <laughs> just buy a new one okay so um i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share guys i mean guys you always watch the video but you don't want to like it you don't want to comment it it's very crucial you guys um like comment okay because if you like and comment then the youtube algorithm okay sees that this video this particular video is is doing well on engagement okay and that is how the algorithm shares the video to other people for other people to see it okay so if you guys want to help me just subscribe like share and comment guys i really appreciate it i know you guys will do it okay so thank you for watching this video i'm gonna see you in another video guys peace out